Howdy everybody, I'm back again with another mod tutorial. Um, I figured out how to change the hunting pressure to be pretty much non-existent when you shoot an animal. Um, did that by hex editing and um, kind of wanted to share what I've learned for hex editing. So when I can spot an animal here um, okay, we got a pack of wolves across the way, so I've got no hunting pressure here. And then let's just take this guy. Nope, he's moving. Uh, bang. Okay, dead. As you can see, we got no hunting pressure generated. So I'll show you guys what I've learned as far as how to hex edit these files. Um, and while I'm getting this up, I apologize in advance for the crackly mic. Um, sometimes my jack, I've got a cheap gaming headset, so sometimes the audio jack uh, will mess up and start crackling. Uh, so apologize for that. Um, so when I was digging around in DECA, um, I was down here in the settings and then HP settings. I found uh, global simulation dot in and down here in this file a ways you come across this um, hunting pressure information um, and then so what you do for the bin files you can extract dot bin files into an Excel spreadsheet if they're type ADF and um, I'd like to thank this this fellow here for posting information on how to do that. Um, this came up on my shotgun and handgun mod. Um, so if you export as process, that'll get you your Excel file. So if you press that extract button with this checkbox ticked, it'll um, give you, I mean, it'll make an extracted folder here. And then inside that, you're going to have this XLSX file that you can open up in Excel. And if you export the raw, that'll give you the base .bin that you see here. And that's what we'll need to hex edit. Um, so I will open the .bin files in a hex editor. Um, I would imagine the other dot bin files in that list will probably function similarly. Um, I learned on this file, um, since there's not much to actually change here, there's it's a pretty light file compared to the other stuff. I would imagine the editing process is probably pretty similar if you're looking to change numbers um, in like the store or something. So this is one I've already modified. So I've changed the hunting pressure to um, to these values here. So um, when you export it, it's actually just going to have these two columns. Uh, I made this one just for reference, just to kind of help me determine what I want to actually do with the file. And you can do that. You can just right click here and do insert and it'll give you a new column. If you didn't already know that. Um, so in the hex editor, we see like I want to change, let's say we'll increase, change the increase value to zero like what we've done here. So this dot back file is actually the original. Um, it, I think it automatically created that when I started modifying this. So that's kind of cool. HXD hex editor did that, I, I think. Um, so to find that value, uh, it's it's going to be helpful. What we're actually searching for here is this set of numbers here. We're looking for this value data array. And so, um, I mean, in in the spreadsheet format, it's nice and easy to read, but um, in here, it's it's not. So what we're going to do, we want to try and find that array. So 
if we just start searching for the values in that array I'm just going to say we can't find it because I just searched text. That's not what we want. We want to search the floating point number. So we got down here this string of four bytes or whatever you call this. I'm going to refer to them as bytes, but uh, forgive my ignorance if I'm wrong. Um, so you see over here, single float 32 is 128. Okay, so to test to see if this is the same array as what we're looking at here um, the next value will be 50 so if we search all again it comes out to be the next the next set of four and if you highlight these it'll show 50 and that's our 128 there that is our 50 there and then if we check the next four that's five and so I think it's pretty safe to say we can say that that corresponds like that that set of oh whatever four times six so 24 so this whole string of 24 numbers will correspond to each four will correspond to one of these well ex except for this um, I've noticed that this one, I mean, it shows as 0.25 in here, but um, when you actually look in DECA, it only shows as 1. So I guess they must have just gone and duplicated that for bows. Um, so in the hex editor, uh, I'll show you guys how to change stuff in here to get what you want. So we know that 128 is our vanilla radius. And so let's say we don't want a hunting pressure radius. So what we want to do, zero is really easy to change. You just make sure that all four of these say zero. And then you can highlight it to double check your work. See, it should say single float 32 as zero. And now the second one is going to be a little more difficult because we don't want to go to zero for this one since this is increased value. And these, these changes are pretty redundant. You could probably get by with just changing the radius to zero. Um, that way your hunting pressure doesn't show up in the first place. But um, I like the redundancy just in case one or two of these just doesn't work for whatever reason. Um, so we want to change, actually, okay, the one I highlighted is the increase value, so we want to change the decrease value up to something absurdly high, so, um, change the increase to zero, 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 okay, so that means, theoretically, the hunting pressure should not increase at all when we shoot an animal. Um, and this string is our decrease. I'm not sure if this is per minute or how that works exactly. Um, but I wanted to set that kind of absurdly high as part of the redundancy. So um, what I actually learned about this hex editing stuff is it's like backwards when it like so you and I would read things left to right. Well, in a hex editor, it takes a set of two and reads from right to left. So, I mean, it's left to right within this itself, but every set of two is right to left. And I can kind of explain, I can show you that, how I make sense of that. So, our default is five. So we have, it's it spits out in this calculator, we have 40 and then A0, and I just inverted that accidentally here. We got A0 is the second and then zeros remaining. So here, you'll see what I mean here. From right to left, we got 40, A0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So every two is going to be right to left within the hex editor. So to change this, um, and also I should mention that this calculator, um, 
this has been the one that I found that spits out correct values. Um, I haven't seen another one. I was just trying to find a quick calculator to figure out how to do this. And looking at these numbers kind of helped me understand how this worked. Um, so let's say we want to change this to 500,000 like I have in my set here. So that means from right to left are four bytes or whatever are going to be 4, 8, F4, 2, 4, and then 0, 0. So for this string here, so that's 5, we want 4, 8, and then F4, and then I think it was 2, 4. Yeah, 2, 4, and then 0, 0. And if we highlight that string of changes here, we'll see that it is now equal to the value we want here. And so we can do the same thing with the next set. So the next four we know is going to be the need zone toxic threshold. So that's going to be when you shoot, uh, like, so you can shoot, according to the math here, you can shoot three animals next to a need zone before the need zone will disappear. So we want to increase that threshold so our need zones don't disappear when we shoot more than three animals. And so if we set this to an absurdly high number, like 150,000, uh, that means that you, you probably won't ever reach that threshold. So you'll always get to keep your need zones. So we got 48127C, and then the last one will be 0. So 42, and then, no, 48, 48, 48, 12, 7C, and then 00, zero is the last one. So if we highlight that, we can see that we've got 150,000 now. So that is now our new threshold for um, for our need zones. So if you shoot an animal, um, I mean, with all the other redundancy changes we've made, I mean, hunting pressure is going to be non-existent. Um, so and then the hunting structure multiplier, if we set those to zero, that means if, if you're in a hunting structure or you're hunting with a bow, you're not going to have any need zone or hunting pressure increase. So we'll go zero, 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 zero. And then the hunting stands and the bows use the same value here in this case. Um, so if you're modifying like equipment tuning dot bin or something like that, that's got a lot more numbers in it, I would imagine. Well, and first of all, that's going to be a lot more difficult to do since there's a whole, there's just strings upon strings and numbers. You really have to know what you're editing before you really get into it. And the spreadsheets help out a great deal with that. Um, I've split up the equipment tuning bin once before and that was before I had any inkling of concept of how to hex edit so um, yeah I just I kind of learned this on the fly and this is a really simple file to do this stuff with and so when we're done we can just save this and all these changes I already have in the modified file here so down in here wherever that was we were at our address is 2a0 and 2b0 so it's up here someplace okay 2a0 and 2b0 so all of this stuff is what we've gone and changed in the modified file here and when you're done yeah you can just save this and um, you don't really need DECA to export it like in, into a build mod you could like I run several other mods so it's just as easy for me to just drag and drop this file over so within your extracted 
folder here within your, your project folder in DECA. You're going to have your modified file that you just saved in your hex editor. You can just drag this guy over to HP settings and I've already got it in here. So um, I'm not going to copy it over, but um, yeah, that's, I, I kind of wanted to share my knowledge on how I did this because it doesn't seem like it's very, very common knowledge and I just figured out how to do this. So um, yeah, I, I hope you guys find this useful. Um, good luck making your own mods. I, I really hope this tutorial helped and my kind of kickstart the modding community and inspire them to create things. Um, happy hunting.